hi everyone in this tutorial we will continue our designing and uh, i think uh, i will finish my designing in this tutorial so first of all let's run the application and this is my screen one so here i just need to create a next button so when the user selects all the files he just need to click on the next button and then uh, we will design on that page this interface so let's create here a next button so just go to visual.kv and this is my screen one so i will again use this uh, image underscore btn so just right here i m a g e image underscore btn and uh, then uh, the source for this will be my forward button dot png okay so this is my png image so just right here uh, f o r w a r d forward dot png and uh, then we just need to define the size so just right here size underscore hint to uh, n or any none then n or any none and uh, i will go with the 48 pixel and 48 pixel which is a standard size of a rounded button and then i just need to put my button on the bottom right side so just right here pos pause underscore h i n t hint and uh, then just right here r i g s t right and my right will be 100 percent so let's run this thing and yeah this is my button so now whenever user clicks on this button i need to switch from screen one to screen two so let's assign on press event so just right here on underscore p r e double s on press and i will say r w to root dot s w i t c h i n g switching okay so this will be my function name just uh, copy it copy it and inside this interface uh, let's define this function so let's write here df def paste it and uh, i will say uh, self self dot ids dot sm dot cu double r e n t current is equals to and uh, i will switch to this screen so just copy this name and paste it right here okay i hope this will work fine so let's run it let's click on it and yeah we are successfully switching from screen one to screen two now it's time to design this interface and it's a little bit uh complicated that's why uh, i have opened this image on my right side in order to get hints from this okay so this is my screen one first of all uh, as you can see this orange box so this will be my main box layout so just create this box layout b o x l a y o t box layout and then inside that box layout as you can see i have this uh, data visualizer uh, label which is inside another box layout and then i have this man uh, or sub man box layout so let's uh, change the orientation from horizontal to vertical first so o r i e n t a t i o n orientation and then v e r t i c l vertical and then let's write b o x l a y o u t box layout and uh, i will assign only 15 percent of space to this md label so uh, i will say s i z size underscore h i n t hint uh, along x axis it will be obviously 100 percent but along y axis it will be 0.15 percent and then i will assign the rest of the space to my this bottom box layout so just right here b o x l a y o u t box layout and uh, i will say s i z size underscore hint and that will be one and then point uh, 85 percent now inside this md this box layout as you can see i have only a label so let's create a label here l a b e l label and then the txt text for this label will be uh, data visualizer d a t a data v i s u a l i z e r data visualizer and i think i will also change the font size so just write here f o n t font underscore s i z d size and i will go with the 32 size so just write here 32 sp and um, i think it's enough for now and now let's start designing this md box layout but uh, before i actually start its designing let's run this application and see how it is looking so let's uh, select these three files okay 
click on it okay so we are unable to see our uh, label and the reason is that we actually uh, the default color of this label is white so we actually need to change the color so i think uh, i will use a markup so first of all let's write here mrk markup and uh, just put this markup property to true and now let's create a color markup here so c-o-l-o-r color and then is equals to and then you just need to write number sign and this is the code okay so i hope this color will match with our buttons and now you just need to close this markup so let's put an other pair of square brackets and let's write c-o-l-o-r color and now let's run this thing and hope this will look good uh, just close it let's click on this and yeah this is my heading data visualizer and i hope it is looking fine okay and now let's uh, start designing this box layout so inside this box layout first of all uh, i will have for the two box layout this left panel box layout and then uh, this one okay so let's create here for the two box layouts b o x l a y o u t box layout and then i will assign a size underscore hint along x axis uh, i will uh, restrict the size to 0.25 percent okay uh, which is the size of my this left panel and then along y axis obviously i will assign the whole space and then b o x l a y o to another box layout and now i will assign the rest of the space to this box layout size underscore h i n t size underscore hint and then um, 0.75 percent and then 0.1 now inside this uh, box layout as you can see uh, i have further two sections this green section this is my box layout one and this is my box layout to another green so i will design this box layout and i will copy it and paste it beneath uh, this one and uh, it will create automatically this properties panel for us so uh, here just write b o x l a y o t box layout and i will assign 50 percent of the screen so just right here with respect to this box layout okay so when i say 50 percent you just need to uh, think it only in that particular box layout okay so the 50 percent for this box layout will be the half of this box layout okay so just write your size underscore hint along x axis i will assign 100 percent but along y axis i will go with 0.5 and now inside this box layout i will have uh, an md label and then another box layout so i will change the orientation of this box layout to uh, vertical so just right here o r i e n t a t i o n orientation to v e r t i c a l vertical and i think i also need to change the orientation of uh, this box layout okay so just right here now let's create here a label l a b e l label and uh, the text for it will be f i l e s files and uh, then the size will be size underscore hint and uh, i will assign only 15 percent along y axis so just pu uh, put here 100 percent along x axis and then 0.15 percent along y axis and again we just need to to use these markups so color markups so just copy it and uh, paste it right here just copy it and just make this markup property to true as well in this level case so just paste it and uh, i will change the font size to 24 in this case so just right here uh, 24 and uh, now uh, inside beneath this uh, label uh, i will have another box layout as you can see this cre uh, sea green color represents my another box layout so just right here b o x l a y o u t box layout and uh, i will assign the rest of the space to this box layout size underscore h i n t size underscore hint one and uh, point uh, 85 percent okay now this box layout will have a scroll view widget as you can see i have written here with scroll view so just right here s c r o l l v i e w scroll view and uh, uh, inside this scroll view i will have a grid layout so just right here g r i d l a y o u t grid layout and uh, i just need to scroll vertically so i will say size underscore hint underscore y to 
and or any none and i will define a height for this grid layout manually and i will go with a minimum height so just write yourself dot m i n i m u m minimum underscore h e i g h d height and the number of columns for this grid layout will be c or ls calls one and uh, i just need to assign an id to this grid layout so just assign an id and uh, i will say f i l e file underscore p l a c e h o l d r so this will be my file placeholder i just need to do the same process for these properties panel as well so i think i will copy this okay so just copy it and uh, paste it right here and uh, just run this thing okay let's click on this and yeah uh, as you can see this is my data visualizer this is my file and this is my file sorry we just need to change uh, the text uh, here where is my text okay so yeah here it is just change it to p r o p r t i e s uh, properties and i hope this will work fine now so let's run it again uh, let's click on it and yeah these are my two panels but you are unable to see the box layouts and grid layouts because we have not added anything yet and uh, i will add my content to these grid layouts dynamically and you will see how to add content dynamically in the next tutorial but uh, now the last thing which we will cover in this tutorial is to create these two buttons so again uh, inside this orange box layout i just need to create for the two box layout so this is my orange box layout let's write here b o x l a y o u t box layout and uh, i will assign i think Mm, the whole space for this box layout except uh, 50 pixels from the bottom okay so i just assign an id to this box layout for now and i will say g r a p h underscore p l a c e h o l d r r so this will be my graph placeholder and let's write here b o x l a y o u t box layout and uh, i will say s i z d size underscore hint underscore y to n or any none uh, so, oops we just need to change this n to capital n and ju just right here h e i g h t height and i will go with the 50 height and now inside this uh, box layout uh, i will have uh, two buttons so just right here b u double t or n button this will be my button one and uh, i will say side underscore hint uh, to n or any none then n or any none and i will define a custom size and uh, i think the width for this button will be 100 but the height will be 50 and uh, i will say b a c k g r o u in the background underscore n o r m a l so the normal background for this will be i think this update dot png yeah this is my button image so just right here u p d a t update underscore p n g and uh, i just need to create an other button so just right here b u double t or n button and i will say s i z d size underscore h i n t hand to and or any none and or any none and then s i z is size and uh, i will go with a size of 50 and 50 because as you can see this will be our circular button so that's why i'm assigning 50 and 50 you can go with the uh, 48 48 which is a standard but uh, there is a, a very minor difference between 50 and 48 so it's totally again up to you and now i will copy this property again just copy it copy paste it right here and just change this uh, from update underscore png oops uh, we just need to replace this uh, underscore with dot okay and here i will say i will go with this save underscore btn and yeah yeah this is the our icon so just right here save save underscore btn dot png and now let's run this thing and see how it is looking and yeah uh, everything is fine everything is quite good this is these are my two buttons but as you can see currently uh, both of them are very close to each other and uh, the reason is that we just need to actually define some spacing between these two buttons and in order to define spacing uh, we just need to put an empty widget between these two buttons so just right here wid gt widget and uh, let's run this thing and yeah now as you can see my these two buttons are far apart 
but uh, there is a bug and that is as you can see currently uh, uh, this data visualizer app is assigning a lot of space for this uh, left panel and it is assigning a very small space to this uh, placeholder and uh, we, in the next tutorial we will see how we can fix this issue and uh, i will see you there till that point bye bye